With the rapid growth of IoT, more and more devices are getting connected to the internet. IoT has entirely created new businesses and revenue streams. And also it delivers a more efficient experience for consumers. But with the increasing number of connected devices, there are also growing security concerns. From hacking to malware, uh, the threats of IoT are real and can have serious consequences. Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hari Arnath and in this video, we'll be discussing very crucial topic, IoT security, challenges and mitigations. By the end of this video, you will get to know the key security challenges the IoT poses and the threats to IoT system and the best practices for securing IoT systems. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please provide your support by subscribing to the channel. Let's dive into the presentation now. As we have discussed the agenda, so what will be the need for IoT security, challenges, threats, best practices? So the need for IoT security. So why is the need? So as we see, the most of the IoT devices, uh, for example, if we take a smartwatch, the smartwatch will uh, monitor all our heart uh, related data, the vitals, etc. So these are all secure and sensitive information. So we kind of share these with the applications and the job of the applications to uh, protect these. So those are not secure and uh, it will be in the wrong hands. So that is the need, one of the needs that we can say to have the security and protect the sensitive data. The next is about the avoid device malfunction. So if your device, IoT device, consider it can be anything, uh, Raspberry Pi or any Arduino board that you're looking, and if that is not is secured, and uh, somebody hacked into it and uh, made it to not work and create a malfunction of that device, so that it will not be useful for you. Uh, so this is one of the need where we have to secure our device as well. So next is about to prevent network disruptions against any cyber attacks. So if the network is not secure, uh, we will be prone to the vulnerabilities and there will be so many uh, cyber attacks that can happen. And because of that, we should be more secure. Also, uh, to comply with the regulations, it's also good to have this IoT security. And uh, finally, to ensure the trust in the technology, what I mean is that if there is any new technology that is coming up, it means that it should be uh, user friendly and uh, the data it is having should not be used for notorious purposes. So that's the reason we should secure IoT. So now I'll be looking into the notorious examples that we have. So I'll be talking about the four IoT attacks that has happened in the past. So let's go one by one. Let's get into the Mirai botnet. So Mirai botnet is considered one of the largest IoT botnets ever discovered. So in 2016, uh, it was discovered and the botnet refers to the network of uh, multiple devices that form together uh, because of the malware that, that got into it and uh, they attack any landscape. So uh, the huge magnitude we can find in this attack was 630 Gbps and 1.1 Tbps. By this, you can understand how much uh, powerful they become and they can attack so many systems with this magnitude. And uh, the one of the examples that we're talking about, uh, this botnet was first used to attack websites and later on uh, that was changed and the, their objective became to attack DYN. So DIN, one of the largest DNS provider, so uh, that supports uh, the websites, popular websites like Twitter, Amazon, Netflix, and New York Times. So all these uh, websites were down because this botnet attacked their DNS provider. So next thing is about the Stuxnet. So Stuxnet is, uh, we can call it as a world's first fully fledged cyber weapon. So it was done in 2010. So this was uh, basically a bomb created and engineered by US and Israel. So this was to uh, actually destroy the plans of uh, Iran, nuclear weapons. So uh, there was uh, 
this Stuxnet worm that was created to send a command from PLCs in the industrial network so that it can cause a damage, physical damage to the nuclear centrifuges in the Iran. So this was successful and uh, the new Iran's nuclear program was disrupted because of this. And this we can see the satirical uh, cartoon. It was created at the time where, wherein they can see the centrifuge of nuclear weapon was full of worms. And also they were looking, the officials of Iran were looking whether they have a, a backup for this system or not. Next thing is a casino bridge. So casino breach, so you won't believe this, uh, it was done, uh, a casino breach was done with the help of a thermometer in the fish tank. So using the fish tank thermometer, which was connected to the internet, they were able to uh, get into the network and fetch TBs of data of the casino. And next is about the cardiac device vulnerability. So cardiac device vulnerability refers to the uh, one of the uh, popular medical uh, devices like pacemakers. They are produced by St. Jude Medicals. So uh, in 2017, FDA uh, in US has recalled uh, nearly 40, more than 40,000 uh, uh, pacemakers. And the, the reason because of this was uh, the vulnerabilities of cardiac device was exposed. So it was, uh, there were two researchers who has uh, uh, presented in the conference that this pacemaker can be hacked into and can be stopped. So there was more than 40,000 uh, patients having this pacemaker in their heart. So that can stop and which could cause a death to them. The, so that is how the IoT attack uh, dangerous it is. So next, let, let's look into the challenges. So what are the different challenges that we have? Uh, so the challenges in IoT system for the security uh, purpose are, so basically most of the IoT devices are having limited processing power. So because of this, implementing IoT security would be one of the challenge. And as we see, IoT comes in variety of shapes and sizes. So the device's complexity will be very vast. So because of that is another challenge. And as we see, the standardization in IoT is not much more uh, established. So because of that, we don't have uh, a standard way to secure our devices. And the software that we work on this IoT systems should not be having vulnerabilities. So that is one more challenge. And to manage the IoT devices and to provide any updates over the air, so all those things also securely will be a challenge. We'll look into the IoT security threats. So what are the various security threats? So as we have discussed one IoT botnet, which has created the DDoS. So DDoS is a distributed denial of service that we have seen in the Mirai attack, where all the websites were down because of this botnet attack. And we can also see a software or firmware which is vulnerable to attack and hack and uh, the network. So the network should be also secure. If it is not secure, it can easily be breached and hacked by the, uh, by the hackers and they can take control of your network and uh, the data can be compromised. So lack of encryption. So while we send the data from the devices, uh, so in between, we also store them, the transmission, all those data should be encrypted. Otherwise, there would be a security threat for it. And basically, this insufficient authentication and access controls. So some of the places we see the default password is used and there is no access control. Everybody can access to a particular website or a page. So these are the security threats. And we can also look into these uh, updates, software updates or firmware updates. So while doing that, they, they keep open some of the uh, back doors because of which the hacking can be possible. So these are the top vulnerabilities. And uh, here, as these are self-explanatory, I'll not be going into depth of these. I'll cover one or two here. 
So first one uh, we can see in this table is the security concerns and uh, based on that we can see what are the different uh, layers that get involved with this vulnerability. So if we have a web interface which is not secure, so then we'll be uh, vulnerable in these layers like application and interface layer, support layer, and then network layer. And uh, same way for the insufficient authentication or authorization, uh, it will be from application to device, all the layers will be uh, vulnerable. So like this, uh, we can go on. Uh, so I'll not be covering depth as I mentioned. So you just can look into this and understand this. So uh, let's look into the security by design. So security by design is a methodology uh, that is uh, being used vastly right now. So the definition of it would be uh, like we have to include the security at all stages of product creation, development and deployment. So previously, uh, we were ignoring the security at the first place and were creating the products and deploy it. Later on, we were trying to retrofit the security and which was causing much challenges. So right now, uh, the new trend is security by design. So you have to think of security at all stages of product development and deployment. So in this, what are the things, tasks that we have in security by design? So the task that we should do is threat modeling. So we need to do the security analysis of a whole system that we create and based out of which we should uh, find out the what are the vulnerabilities that it can have and model them so that we can mitigate those. So that is the first uh, task that we need to do. And the second one is to have a secure architecture. So while we design a product, we definitely have to create an architecture. So at that stage itself, we have to create, think about security and create a secure architecture which include the security communication uh, as well as, for example, the TLS that we use in many places and uh, so that uh, as well as the encryption in data storage and how we can upgrade or provide the firmware and software with more security. And one more, one more popular technique is network segmentation. So network segmentation is one of the technique where we can isolate uh, some of the devices over the network uh, from others. So by this, we can limit the attack. So even though one of the network is attacked, so we'll be differentiating with them with the virtual LANs. So uh, because of that, one network would be uh, attacked and network, other network is isolated from that. So we are limiting the attack. And the next thing is about the AIML for IoT security. So we have to involve uh, machine learning and AI techniques into IoT security so that we can monitor them and forecast them. So next thing is about the incident response plan. So we should have an incident response plan uh, for whatever the attacks that we get. So we should anticipate them and we should have a plan uh, accordingly for that to mitigate it. In conclusion, IoT security is a critical issue that cannot be ignored. With increasing number of connected devices, it's important than ever to secure IoT systems and devices. It's always good to follow security by design principles to stay secure. Before we close, if the video was informative, please like the video and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.